Hello, John Bloodworth, Gentleman Crafter here with the first in a revamped series of Scan and Cut Saturday. Today I'm tackling a fact or fiction topic. And basically what that is, is where I'm going to look at things that are circulating at the moment, rumours, bits and pieces, can I do this, can I do that? And I'm going to work them through, explain what's going on, and then hopefully offer some, offer some solutions. So, the first one today is I've seen a lot of people talking about the fact that bold text won't weld. Is this true or not? Let's take a look. To start with, I've created this test um, weld and I've entered some text using the text feature in the installed version of Canvas Workspace and I'm going to attempt to weld it to a rectangle. I'll do that in exactly the way I would any other time using the process overlap function and weld. Done. Not a problem. Now I don't know whether you noticed if I undo that and just select the text. But that was set on bold. So it did work. Let's try that again. No problem. Now let's try another example. So this time I have a different font selected. This one's called Barn Shrift. I've got the bold option selected, but this one does have quite a few more than you would normally expect. Let's see if that makes a difference. So I select everything as I normally would, process overlap, and weld. But no, this time I get an error message, which says the operation is not allowed. The selected objects include open paths or self-intersecting paths. Error code 92001. Hmm, okay, so what does that mean? Somewhere in this particular font style there is an issue, and it's actually not the fact that it's bold. I will show you by changing the screen and giving you a couple of examples. So first up, we have standard true type fonts. I've called those normal. And we also have what's called a variable font. These are a new style of true type font, which basically means all of the different weights, so from very light to super bold, are contained in one true type font. Whereas with standard fonts, you would actually have a separate true type font file for each weight. So you would have this font in regular, bold, italic, and so on. Whereas this font, you would have them all in one. If you look at them on screen with a fill applied, or even if you print them out, you probably can't see any difference at all. However, if we take out the fill color, you will immediately see a difference. Our previous or normal true type font um, for that Basically, each character is made up of an outline with no extra paths, no extra information. However, the variable font format, each character is made up of multiple shapes, perhaps three or four even. Why does this matter? Well, basically because when it comes to welding, Canvas Workspace recognizes your standard true type font as a regular shape. So it can weld it, you can, it can divide it and subtract and so on. However, these particular variable fonts, it's actually struggling to understand the information in, on certain occasions. And here are a couple of specific examples. If I show you a lowercase e from this character set, you can see that basically the paths run parallel all the way around and here we have what was causing that error code 
which is a self-intersecting path. It's basically going around and running over itself. Canvas Workspace won't be able to weld that character. In addition, let me show your capital N, variable fonts basically are adjusted so that each letter can form each of those weights that I talked about earlier. And to do that, they have basically the spacing built into them. So here again, we have a self-intersecting path. Now that's not all characters. For example, if I select this and change it to a, let's say a capital E. In this case, it's actually made up of four shapes. So Canvas Workspace would actually be able to weld this one without a problem. It's just where you have those intersecting paths and that's why that error code is coming up. Now there is a way to get around it and you really got to love the font style in order to do this. But basically what you would do is go into your edit tab on the right, hit convert to shapes. And then after you've selected the character, click on it again to enter the path editing mode. And you will have to make individual adjustments to the nodes that are causing the problem. So just as a rough example here, I have just moved these so that they are out of the way. Alternatively, of course, I could delete them. So now with that intersecting path gone, this letter will weld as normal. But like I say, you've got to do that for every character that has that issue in every word of your phrase for every new design you create. Now, how do you basically try and avoid variable fonts if you don't want to do that? Well, let's take a look. Get rid of that. In the text dropdown, you basically have Canvas Workspace fonts, which we know work because they're basically developed by Brother. When it comes to all fonts, sadly, there is no indicator to tell us. There is in things like Adobe Illustrator and other vector graphics programs, but here we don't have that visual clue. The only way you will know is to remove the fill color. And if it looks like you've got different shapes making up each individual character, that's a variable font. And you will struggle with characters like this E, where the path intersects itself. However, the rest of these should be okay because they are made up of multiple shapes, or in this case, a single shape. Right, I hope that explains it a bit more. So it's not the fact that it's a bold version of a font, it's the actual type of font that you are using that is causing this error message. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them below the um, video on YouTube. Or, of course, you can leave comments on my blog or indeed on my Facebook group. OK, thanks for watching and see you next time. That's it for this time. If you've enjoyed this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments section below. And for more from me in the future, please remember to subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching.